we've really been a hotbed of producing residents who pursue fellowships in the subspecialty of pediatric orthopedics. In the last decade, we've had almost 15 residents, which is a very, very high percentage compared to the rest of the country. And we felt like with this facility and our desire and love and expertise to educate residents, we felt like it was a natural partnership to create a course like this. It's really a perfect marriage of those issues and an opportunity to provide a two-day course that's comprehensive, covers all of pediatric orthopedics in a didactic fashion, and then also provides residents a safe, controlled, stress-free environment to perform 11 of the most common surgical procedures on cadavers or artificial synthetic bones. So my most memorable moment thus far has been working in the cadaver lab downstairs with the opportunity to place pedicle screws. And the best part about it is that the bone is real. It has the same feel, but it allows me to, to do it in a safe setting. And, and I've had the opportunity to do it before, but this was an excellent experience because I felt like I really started to master the technique. Uh, we have recognized that with work hour restrictions and increasing demand for patient safety, it's become a little bit more difficult to efficiently educate our residents in surgical skills. And it, it takes much more than seeing one and doing one before you can teach one. So I think one of the best aspects was the instant feedback you could get from physically looking at uh, placement of a pedicle screw. You can put your pedicle screw in and then dissect the cadaver out a little bit and actually see uh, physically what it looks like as opposed to just the fluoroscopic feedback that you get in the operating room. Uh, it really lets you kind of hone your technique a little bit better than just learning as a resident in the operating room. Another one of the greatest advantages of educating surgeons in a simulated center like this, where it's safe and uh, we're not working on live patients, is the reality that we learn best oftentimes from our mistakes. And mistakes in the spine in a 13-year-old girl, there's no margin for that and there's no margin for learning. And accordingly, we have to educate much, much slower with much more caution in a real patient. However, on a true trainer sawbone in the simulation lab or downstairs in the cadaver lab on a cadaver sawbone, residents can make a mistake. There's no complication, there's no anxiety or stress, and, and there can be an attending spine surgeon right there next to them that can then show them their mistake, and the resident can learn from their mistake without anxiety and without a complication. So that is a tremendous opportunity as a resident, and it's a, a huge patient safety factor for our patients.